Well, hello, Dr. Augustine here. Just got out of the water and uh, thought of something really interesting I thought I'd share with you guys. You know, the whole idea about dry fasting and stem cell regeneration, all kind of stuff, it's really, really important because there's this thing called stem cell burnout, <laughs> but it's not burnout at all. It's lack of use. All day long, these little wind proteins are telling your somatic cells to replicate or not, and it's working the thing just fine. But when you go into starvation and you have nutrient stress, the somatic cells just stop replicating. And then the wind proteins open up the stem cells. Now, Dr. Filinov claims that after the dry fast, there will be a rush of stem cells. And that makes sense now because of what we know about wind proteins. When proteins are so important to the stem cell population because once they open them up into interphase. You see, cell division goes through a series of phases. The interphase position is usually pretty quick for the somatic population. Interphase for stem cells is different because if there's any damage at interphase, because that's when, as you can see in this uh, video of, of cells dividing and the chromosomes unlacing. When they unlace, that's when they stop. Why? Because that's when they're laid bare open to be completely repaired by base enzyme repair function to put back together, you know, strands that have been broken or damaged. Uh, they run all these other repair programs that uh, correct incorrect or correct violations in the uh, code sequence itself. So what really is happening during a dry fast is your stem cells are not regenerating. They're perfecting. If you don't turn on your stem cells into interphase at any time during your life, the only time you use your stem cells is when there's a stress, like a broken bone or a big cut. That's not the same as what we're doing with the Phoenix Protocol. Because if you regenerate the genetic code back to perfection every time you go into a dry fast, and then the dry fast ends and you feed yourself, and that's when all the stem cells are released according to Filanov, well, of course it is, because they're just laying in wait to reproduce when they have the fuel to do so, because you've cleaned all the genes up, because they don't want to replicate until everything is perfect. You gotta remember, these cells are what's left over after your embryonic development. After you were born, these are still inside of you, repopulated all over the body, 220 different niches, to make sure that something happens to you gets fixed. We never thought of it as being a, a way to make sure that you just keep producing stem cells for as long as you want by making sure they're genetically correct. Because when they uh, replace somatic cells, a lot of times those stem cells have telomerase. So they really are immortal cells. That's why you want to do dry fasting, is to be able to clean up your stem cells, make them healthy and strong, and make your genetic code perfect for those. Because when you dry fast and you clean those up and you get this big rush of stem cells, it goes into all the 220 niches with exactly the right code, exactly the right exposed histones to operate the metabolism for that cell. Everything is perfect because it got into interphase and the body doesn't let it get out of interphase until the fix is done. That's why it works. Anyway, Drive fast to save your stem cell population. That's the message of the day. Love you guys for tuning in. I'll probably go out tomorrow morning <laughs> and uh, have a little fun out there. But uh, love you guys. Please subscribe. If this is the first time to this channel, please check below to the videos because I posted a lot of stuff that people, you know, comment on that they've had great success using this method, and it might help you too. I mean, I don't do these for, for the the yucks of it. I'm doing it to to change global health one person at a time, because if I teach you how to do it, you'll teach somebody else. What do they used to say, a code squared, a code shared is a code squared? <laughs> yeah, same thing. Learn how to drive fast and share it with your friends. Buy the book, The Phoenix Protocol, learn how to do it, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Yes? We have a message for you, remind people to subscribe, please, sir. What now? Please. Who very well.